Hey, what is up everyone? Gamer Live Studio here, back at it with another Let's Play video. And today, as the time of this recording, we are finally about to step into the Starfield DLC Saturn Space. We are about to get into it and stuff. And as the time of this recording, it is October 3rd, 2024. So yeah, well, you know, we did a whole bunch of, you know, previous Let's Plays, but we had to get Andresia before we even started doing this because I want to bring her along. It's, it's quite fitting to bring Andresia along. So, um, and now before we get into the video, I just wanted to say a few things about this uh one i did see some reviews and stuff like that talking about starfield and stuff and this that and the third so i don't know what's going on so a lot of people didn't seem to like this dlc and i'm scratching my head like what's going on and you know a lot of people said there's no companions in here but then there's evidence that there is companions in this game there's this it's just it's just a lot of like a lot of I don't know if these people really does play the game. Um, so in this video, I'm going to make, I'm going to be playing this game. Like literally just sitting here, taking my time. I'm not rushing through stuff and I'm just going to go through my paces. You know what I'm saying? So don't worry. And I'm going to make sure that I'm going to show you guys the difficulty settings that I have, the level that I'm currently am while i'm playing this dlc because i heard a lot of people said it's too difficult which is kind of baffling to me and i will be making another video you know separate from this you know let's play video but i'm just want to let you guys know just giving you guys a heads up where you know you know what i'm seeing and hearing and stuff so i just want to make sure in this let's play video you can see all the stuff and i'm going to just play the game and role play myself into this and I'm gonna use my imagination again because that's how I play the game I don't like to rush through games or DLC or anything like that I like to take my time and really just play the game and have fun and just enjoy myself so let's get into this I already updated all the creation mods and everything so that's good I updated my um, my graphics card driver for AMD, that works fine. So now we should be pretty much all set, ready to go for this. So it should not be crashing or anything because I'm playing it on the PC. I'm playing it at, what, 1080p, lock at 60. I don't even think I'm using frame gen on this one. I don't think so. So yeah, so we left off right here. We on the ship. Right now, we got our weapons prepared, we got our pistol, I got everything prepared. So all we have to do is just leave out of this hatch. Alright, so, without that being said, let's start off with this first. Because I want to make sure that you have an idea where I'm at currently while I'm playing this game. Because I make sure the difficulty is a balance between, like... It should be fun, but also somewhat challenging. And I do make it very challenging for myself. This is like the way how everyone should be playing Starfield, not on easy mode, because if it's on easy or way too easy, it's gonna get very boring really fast. And it's, it's just not gonna be as fun or enjoyable. So you currently see my level where I'm at, which I'm level 24, right? And what else we got? So you can see the health, right? The character and what I have right here, right? Which I got Neon Street Rat, Empathy, Want It, right? General stuff, right? Mission stuff, Max Ownership, Combat, right? Crafting, Crimes, all this stuff. Okay, so we can, you can see that I'm currently in level 24, I think, what is this? And we're in a level 20 solar system, but I do know that the DLC it is above that, so... Okay. They wanted level 35, so basically I am 11 levels below the recommended um, level that I should be playing the, you know, this DLC. 
but I came well prepared, I'm well equipped, I'm ready to rock and roll. So without further to do, uh, hello. let's go take her out here. I have sharpened the companion now. Good. I hope Cora doesn't get. I don't know about you. I'm always up for. All right. So now, let's see. Wait. Oh man, I can't even bring the other ones along. I want to bring uh, both. Let me just check real quick. I'm sorry. This is Sirak from the Star Oracle. We are what is it? Anomalous readings. Hello. Um, crew have been revised. Is that Do not it then? Repeat. Let me see. Not bored. Unable to recruit? What are you talking about? I might be able to recruit. Oh man. All right. Oh, okay. I see what's wrong. So I can't recruit. But wait, the gain is all here. I can. I should be able to do that. You got something for me? I'm glad you're. Ah, oh, hello. Do not. I look forward to it. Hmm. That's kind of weird. So I guess I can't bring everyone. But usually, like, the gang doll here or the companion should be able to work. Unless that is broken. It's probably most likely broken. But anyway, we'll just bring Andresia along with us. What is it? Hmm. Uh, we'll have her have this one. Mm -hmm. Just have her have explosions. Now, let me go save it. And let's begin. It's time to enter into the darkness. Oh, and I totally forgot about this. Um, the difficulty settings on this that I have it. I forgot to show you. But you can see the difficulty settings is right here. Right? Very hard for combat. Very easy. Very hard. Very easy. Ammo weight. Reduce. Inside the ship. Reduce. Vendor credits. Uh, med uh, medical. Medicine and, um, and medicine item. Healing slowly. So... You can see that I have it on pretty difficult, you know, pretty difficult. Some I just leave it where it is and it's fine. So you can see it for yourself. I have it on pretty difficult, you know. All right. There we go. I don't like that noise at all. See, this is why I like to take my time. Ew, what the hell is this? Must be old as hell. Damn, a space suit. I'm not surprised the whole damn suit was just left there. Oh, really? Wow. Interesting. I don't know if I should even take this, but I don't even think so. Not worth it. 
I mean, if this thing is still going to be around, I gotta just always come back for it later. There's a door right here. That pack. It's just so quiet in here. Now, oh, what's this? I like this. Explorer Power Pack Apparat. I'll keep it there just in case and I'll come back for it. Let's just grab all the important stuff. I don't want to over encumber myself. And we're just getting started with this DLC. Just looking up top. Alright, well, seems like there's a door over here. Well, this is the only way. Just want to see something real quick. All right, so this this mod does work. Keep a lookout, that's all I gotta say. You see anything, you shoot it. <laughs> Two dead guards over there. Tell you one thing, it's a very unique space station. Nothing I ever ran across to. This place. Did you say something? You have my attention. I swear, I really thought Andresia really said some shit.
good. It's very unnerve-wracking. But I don't... I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. This is what we're dealing with? Fuck me. I see no one and yet I can feel a presence. But how? I should be the last. Is someone there or...? Yes. My mind turns against me. I must return to engineering and make one last attempt to restore the power. This is crazy. Holy shit. Damn. Shit, shit is real now. Shit is real, ladies and gentlemen. Shit is fucking real. Alright. So. Got a card. Ooh. House photo shot. Nice. Probably might give that to, um... Oh, this is a shard. Okay. Look at this. Yep. Okay. Ooh, ooh, oh. Vroom lab. Nah, I'll well take it. God damn. All right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I got this weapon for you, Andresia. You can have this one. Uh, 
I gave that to her, so... I think you might as well just use the breach. Right. Is something amiss? You do not need... If you wish to know more, I will be here. That is all. Very well. All right. <coughs> oh. What the hell? So I'm guessing it's very, very bad. Look over here for a minute. See what we can find. Advanced deep spacesuit. We'll take that. Yeah, that thing is locked, but I don't feel like going through that. All right. Blood. All right, I think we're gonna have to pull out the big boys for this. Probably this one right here. Okay, you ready? In my face, god damn. And... Eh, I see now we got some food. Might as well just take that. We can't go near any of those. That symbol, it can't be. What's that? oh, shit. Said level thirty. There is no escape. Give up Got already. Got him. Come on. Throwing. Got him. Did right. you need some? Alright. Instead of that, you can use the K. Back to it then. The K will be better. Yeah, they they will definitely snipe me from a distance. Yeah, 
is definitely House Varun territory. So there's nothing we can do, it's just blocked. It was worth a try. Guess we're gonna have to go down this way. Just want to check out the hallways. Oh yeah, shit. We didn't even see the logs for this shit. Let me see. We got this log and this one. <sighs> I'm writing this and uh, maybe we can find a moment so I that it through. Oh, it might ease my mind, but we... No wonder science is unlike many of friends or family that I will miss me and that being here burning having a chance to complete the path of redemption one last time that I have written so I know that you feel I will Take a great Wow. That's crazy. That's goddamn. Shit. I could just only imagine how that feels. So few us. Of what to come, perhaps. Speak into things better left than the old. Paying the price for a trade too close, too much. We give up. It's our pride. We wish to truly find you. But it seems we will still be in death. There's no way in death. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Oof. Yeah. That's some religion for you right there. You know, this this is this right here is not too far off from religions that we know today in today's world in today's society. Yeah. That's some shit. Is some shit. This is Irak Vettel. Post incident log. Something has gone horribly wrong. We were in orbit directly above Dazra, monitoring our current experiments when we experienced a sudden energy surge. I fear the source came from the city itself. It triggered our graph drive and jumped the Oracle to an unknown location. We thought members of the crew were somehow lost in the jump. But later, 
You were attacked by what I will refer to as Vortex Phantoms. I thought I recognized some of them. Could it be that the energy surge has somehow transformed them and warped their minds? So we need an access card too. Alright. Looks like we're gonna have to play a little scavenger hunt. Let's see what's in door number two. Hello. What do we have here? Little adventure hat. We got this. These are nothing special. These are just regular costumes. Eh, worth a shot, but nothing there. Let's keep going. Someone who really likes guns and bullets is all up in here. Also right here for a minute. Save it. Yeah, this is very unsettling. Just checking, because I don't like this. Nope, not here. Hmm. 
We got one over there. We'll search the bodies first. Another shard, another gun. I'll take some of this. Too. Those are regular varoons. Wait, this one up there too. Might as well start picking those up. Check on this side. Is there like a top floor or something? It just goes up and up and up, and I don't see anything. But it feels like some sort of altar, I tell you that much. This is Sirak Vetal. Post-incident log. After the initial jump, areas of the Oracle have somehow been sectioned off by strange energy fields or barriers. The fields allow no one to pass and are somehow able to repel, almost teleport, the trespasser back. I am certain these new fields are related to the Vortex Phantoms. Both resonate with the same energy pattern. The exact same pattern we were studying for Anasco's experiments. Something happened in Dasra. And if the situation is bad here, I fear for our brethren in the city. Yeah, I even noticed that too. Even if you just went through there, you're still gonna get repelled back or teleport back. It just doesn't make any sense. Alright. Looks like we're gonna have an upcoming battle. One down. a broken elevator. What the fuck was that? Shard already got three of those. Got a plate of food. I'm not liking this. Seems like this is like the cafeteria area.
I'm just eating old food that's been left there. It's crazy. <laughs> uh, shit. Rule number one, always hug against the walls because you never know what's going to happen. Bye -bye. Bye. Shit! <laughs> what the hell? <sighs> God, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> I was not ready for that at all. Dead bodies. Dead packs. Credits. Oh, this is something in there, but there's no access for it. Let's go to door number two. Nice and steady. Products. Okay, I see. Trying to get over a cumber. Nope. Take that. What is sense? Oh, okay, wait. Got him. Down. Oh, man. Thank God I brought those weapons in the Kila City. Shits do come in handy. Oh, 
now we can take these suits too. Oh yeah, let's take that. Might as well. Hey, grab it while we still can. Job. That's what I'm talking about. Let's back the fuck out of that motherfucker. God damn. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I don't want none of this garbage. No, 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 no. Don't want none of this garbage. Uh, deep pants, uh, whatever. Uh, drop that. We don't need that. We don't need that. We can keep this. Drop that. Keeping that. Drop that. Keeping this, yep. Yeah. Better yet, might as well give it to Andrea. Yes, you need me? Um, yes, let's trade. Might as well give this to her now. Let her hold my piece. I mean, this is cool looking stuff, but I probably might get something better. But I'll just give it to her for now. Wait. Is she full? Are you serious? Hold on. Alright, that's why. Oh, shit. <laughs> Did it by mistake. Take that back, and you should be good. Until next time. There you go. A lot better. have here a hatch. So we ended up in the bathroom. I know they want me to go up, but I'm always investigating.
Alright. Maybe it's a little too easy because I have these weapons and stuff. Maybe I'll put the uh difficulty settings a little bit up. We'll just put it one notch up. That was a waste. Shadow House. What's that? Oh, we'll take it. Seems like we're good. We can go back upstairs. Save it, and we're good. I see there's like so many beds over here. It's crazy. Can't believe anybody gets what to sleep here. Came out the woodwork, holy fuck. Oh my god. Hard times. Okay, we got this. That's good. This, do we got two in between? to fit it and we only got two yeah there's only one way to fit it this way and then this one got two this one got three Yeah, 
then I'll be missing one. And then if I do this. I'll be having four. This one doesn't fit to anything. So one of these have to fit. Okay. Got it. Let's see if we could take that one out. That would be nice. Give me a little bit of a pack of punch. Terrible has happened while well, I'm trying to remain suffering myself. Looks like it looks like the people on the ship are losing their minds and their control. Just shit went to batshit hell. This ain't good. This ain't good at all. Uh. 
back up. This is for you. Whoa. Holy fuck. Where is that coming from? Holy shit. They're not fucking around this time. I was not expecting that. It really packs a punch. Now it's my turn to take this. somewhere. here. Right. Hold on, let me see. Good, access granite. Alright, let's see what's going on with this. Safety protocol 12. No, okay. Due to the power surge, the second power cell has been ejected to prevent. One 
of the power cells dislodged in the last jump. The gravity... Restoring the gravity may pull the cell into place. If I can get to the control room, if I can just... No! They are coming! Got him. Grabbing everything that I could. Time to take out the trusty shotgun. Shit, 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 shit. Boy, Come on, move, 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 move. Put that in. We need it. Fucking Christ. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, God. If that was in real life, I would, I would literally be shitting in my pants. Ah, oh, look what I found. Where you at? 
Oh, okay, good. Thought I lost you for a minute, Andreza. Stop playing around. Just looking. Are we missing anything? No, we're good. Okay, let's get this going. Warning. Gravity procedure initiated. Please check your surroundings to ensure personal safety. Restoring gravity in three, two, one. Okay, good. I'm sick and tired of gravity. Get going. Okay, good. Power cell connected. Report to operations for system reboot. Okay, it seems like we're gonna have a little bit of fun here. Phantoms. Where did they go? Something is wrong. No! Not now! I have to hold on! Might as well kill him and get him out the way. Holy shit. Oh, we got our own outfit. Let's take that. Let's see what we got here. Glad I, glad I brought this um, gun. Uh, seriously. Put in some work. Ooh. Shit. Let me take that baby. Let's go. Let's look around for a minute before we jumped.
Alright. Alright, nothing. Good. Alright, coast is clear. Alright, let's get the fuck... Let's get the freak up out of here. Hold on. What's this? Shit, this is the experiment. Mainframe reboot initiated. Commencing protocol. Station lockdown completed. All major systems on standby. Mainframe reboot completed. Warning. Station jump procedure initiated. Please check your surroundings to ensure personal safety. Jump in three, two, one. Execute. Jump completed. Station lockdown released. Initiating data transfer. Damn. Incoming transmission. This is Dasra calling the Oracle Station. We've received your transmission. Your orders are to send a representative down here immediately. It appears we have much to discuss. Poor Sirak. So close to seeing their efforts realized. Yeah. Not close enough, I'll tell you that much. All right, let's um. Let's see where we want this one at. Should we have seals, or should we just put it in this one? Get my oxygen level up, might as well. Oh, at least we reached the star system. Shit is crazy. Forward to the ship. Hey, everybody, do you miss me? Yes, you did. I know you did. All right. This was crazy.
Separation complete. Sarah is Perfect Morgan. I swear she must have radar. What do you mean? Every single time I make a mistake, before I can say, oops, she's there, and very politely, ever so patiently, telling me I made a mistake. You know what I mean? No, I do not. Thanks, Andresia. Now I feel better. Huh. At least it lights up the mood a little bit. Holy fuck. This is level 35. So is all, all the way out here? That's a fucking travel. What about here? Shit. Just the grab jump all the way over here is like fucking insane. Or even just go over here, really. What about my thing? So over here? Yeah. Alright. We could grab drive out of here, but. We gotta see what this planet is all about. There's a moon. Another one. Let's go here. See what's going on. Hopefully they're gonna give me the welcome mat. Dang, oh yeah, um I'm the guy who boarded your ship and I kinda did you know just set up in there. Well, it seems like they're not going to give us the welcome mat down there. Alright. Um... Shit. Alright, we gotta put some stuff away, because I can't carry all of this stuff. Um, massive. We got 140, this is 160, but the massive is like a massive weight. I'll carry the small one, it'll be fine. Keep the breach here. Keeping that there. Let's get rid of this. Keeping this. Okay. Since we're role playing this, I don't think they're gonna know what the mantis is. So we might as well just get rid of it, get rid of this, and wear this. Kind of disguising ourselves, might as well, right? Makes sense. I don't want to be out there and look like a goddamn stick it out like a sore thumb. Because they don't know shit. Oops, didn't mean to do that.
Damn, this one looks good. The suit with the scarf. It will look good on mines, but I'm gonna give it to um, her. I'm just gonna wear this one. Or better yet, I should just wear this one. Get rid of this one. We'll put this one away. We'll get this one to her. And we'll get this one away. And yeah. So we keep keeping that. health packs and I'll keep that this this we'll put away this and we'll put away that and we got some contraband Fifteen shards, I don't know what that's for, but we'll keep this. Okay. We'll put this slot right there. And then we'll get this outfit to her. Good to see you. Here, I have something for you. Really? Yes. Nice. Well, it seemed like a good idea. I saw it earlier and thought you might like it. Or find it useful. Or, well, whatever. Of course. We are partners, are we not? I will keep an eye out in the future. And if I see something, I might hold on to it for you. Yes? Let's trade. And I got something for you, too. All right. It looks like she's carrying so many items. I might as well take this away from her. This. These three weapons is all she really needs. Should be straight with that. Oh, this is like a heavy assault? Damn. 
Yeah, that's why it weighs a ton. I'll take this one away. And this will be fine. Alright, oops, don't want to give me that. That is all. Yep, that is pretty much it. She got the heavy assault one. God damn. Alright, let's see first. Um, let's go into this one here real quick because I need to get me a somewhat of a good, decent outfit. You know, I don't want to go out there looking like a guard. Also wear like a corporate suit. Okay, the guard one. Um, Very well. Alright, I think we should be ready to go and start making our way outside. Before I do that, make sure I save it. And just give me... Give me a couple minutes real quick. I just need to do something real fast and then we'll continue. This won't take that long. Okay, I'm back. It took that long. Now, let's see what we're dealing with here. So far, I'm liking this DLC. It was pretty good. I'm liking it. Alright. Alright, let me just get myself a little situated real quick. Got my headphones nice and good. Yeah, my microphone. Okay, we're good. <clears throat> Let's go into here. 
Hold very still and choose your words carefully. They will really? determine how long you live. Huh. Please, we are not a threat. We are trying to help. You have no right to be here. You will tell me how you found this place. All right. No signal should have left this system. Mm, but the Oracle was lost. Ah, we had feared this much, but it is good to know for certain. Foris, I think we need not fear our guest. Perhaps in this time of need, the Great Serpent has delivered us a gift. Counselor, with due respect, we have not had unannounced visitors here in generations. It is a clear breach of security. I do not disagree, and I know that security, in whatever small form we can grasp it, is of paramount importance. But you must acknowledge the timing is... curious. And perhaps our guest's intent should be determined before we take further action. Ah, uh, yeah. That sounds like a really smart man. Um. We received the automated transmission, but you are certainly not who we expected to find. Oh, really? Great serpent! It's happening again! Hear me! Speaker! We are here! We have reached out to you, to, to seek guidance in our hour of need. The gate in the Citadel has been opened just to seek you. What horror is this? Have I failed you? What is this place? Where am I? Why do you not show yourself? I strive only to follow your command. All must serve. Please. Do not leave me in darkness. I seek only your wisdom, your guidance. Great servant, your children cry out to you. Will you not answer us? What the fuck? Our leader, Anasco Varun, he has appeared like this over and over. So many of our people have been trapped in this state, these vortex phantoms. But usually they are hostile and lash out. Anasco is different. If only we could hear his voice, some reassurance that all is not lost. Russell, what's going I am on not here? Able to go into detail. There was an experiment, in an accident. Many of our people left in a similar state. While most are hostile, Anasco is... The Great Serpent spared him that fate. He's different. If only we could communicate with him. Anasco Varun is our leader, the grandson of Jinan Varun himself. He sometimes appears to us, but we cannot interact. You could hear him. Despite the sightings, none have heard the word from Anasco in all this time, yet you claim to. Do not toy with me. Not about this. If you speak truth, you must prove it. What did he say? I, the serpent. I heard nothing. He said that? It is no joke. The experiment was a secret, even to many of our own people. Truly, you did hear an asco. You have been chosen. People of House Varun, hear me. 
We have asked the Great Serpent for deliverance from our calamity, and he has answered us. This outsider has been chosen as the most unlikely vessel for the Great Serpent's divine provenance, and she will help save us all. Outsider, please. There is no denying you have been sent here as a sign. You must help us. But there are... Uh, there are precepts that must be followed, principles that must be obeyed. Even in these dire circumstances, we cannot turn from Jinan Varun's teachings. You will be granted safe passage through Dazra and the lands beyond. No harm will come to you, on that you have my word. You even have my assurance that your uh, compatriot here will also remain unharmed. But to truly aid us, you must become part of House Varun. This is not a thing done lightly, and it cannot be taken back. Will you commit to helping us by becoming one of the promised? Let me find more information um, about this. Efforts to do something, anything, about our current dilemma have fallen to political infighting. I believe your arrival, if nothing else, represents a sign from the Great Serpent himself that we must finally put aside our differences and work together. It must be ordained that you would appear before us now. Able to hear the speaker when no one else can. We, the people of House Varun, are the promised. The Great Serpent has blessed us with knowledge of the future and our place in it. Our service to him guarantees us a place in the new worlds he will create when he returns to enshroud the universe. A greater gift could not be bestowed upon you. Well, there's no way we can't say no, and then we can't do anything else, so we might as well. Excellent. But please, come with me. Forgive me for right. introducing myself. I am Malibor Dulkev, a member of the High Council of House Varun. I have been asked to represent the Council in this moment. Please, enter our city. You have my word that you will not be harmed. I would ask that until you have become promised, you avoid the citizens of Dasra. They are not used to outsiders. Open the gate! I must tell you what I revealed for now, but surely you saw the scaled citadel as you arrived. It was the center of an explosion of sorts has annihilated most of our city. We have lost many of our brothers and sisters. I believe we are still in danger. Counselor, what is the meaning of this? Is there a problem, Makula? The city is in shambles, the speaker is missing, and here you are leading some outsider through our sacred space? Why allow this husk to defile our city? Have we not lost enough? Have faith. I believe this outsider was guided here by the Great Serpent himself. And soon, Serpent willing, they will be one of us. But I can be sure and pass your concerns on to the rest of the High Council, if you wish. I apologize for the interruption. There is a ritual intended for converts to the promised that has not been performed in generations. We are fortunate that there are those still alive who remember the old ways and have remained prepared for such a moment as this.
Well, this is very interesting. Harold Inaza, I suspected we might find you here waiting. I saw the ship landing. I knew immediately that I would be needed. Indeed oh, you are. This is Inaza Kaisir, Herald of the Serpent. She will guide you through the ritual. I am needed elsewhere, but I assure you that you are in good hands. Okay, thank you very much. So, the Great Serpent sends you to me. No husk that walk the serpent's path. To enter this sacred cave, there is no turning back. You will be forever changed. This is a path you must walk of your own free will alone. Will you step forward and emerge anointed? One of the promised. A lesson. A test. A moment for the Great Serpent to reach out and fill you with something more than what you have been. You have not been filled with purpose by the Great Serpent, so you are merely a husk. But perhaps not for long. Then enter. And I shall guide you along the serpent's path. But this is a journey you must undertake alone. Your escort cannot follow. This is a profound step for you. Do not worry. You have nothing to fear. The path lies before you. But it is up to you to walk it. What did you need? Do not have all the fun without me. Just wait here. All right. Whenever you're ready. You must walk the path. I am merely here to guide you along your way. The Serpent's Path will tell you what you need to know for now. After that, the Council awaits. After that, I will be at the Temple as I always am. And I will offer counsel as I would to any of the Promised. A difficult question. The original converts were accepted in the years after House Faroon first made contact with the settled systems. Once the Serpent's Crusade began, there were fears that anyone from the outside could be spies, infiltrators. And after the Crusade, few were eager to join. When Jinan Varun's son, Jarek, took power, we pulled back, rejected contact with non-believers. We removed any avenues for converts to find us. But there were those among us who hoped that one day we might help others see the light of the Great Serpent's teachings. And if we can survive our current situation, your presence here now might sway opinions on future converts. Okay. Last it has served more than one purpose for our people over the generations. For a brief time, it was home. But then, in his wisdom, Jinan Varun saw fit to turn it into a way for those outside House Varun to begin to learn, to join us in following the Great Serpent. That ended after the Serpent's Crusade. It feels right to see it used again now, in our time of need. Let the Great Serpent forever guide you.
Wait a minute. What the fuck? Wait. And she was just right there for a minute? I would... You must walk the path. I am merely here to guide you. Go on and continue to fulfill your holy purpose. First on Earth, then scattered among the stars. And like all humans, they were lost souls, wandering in the dark, looking for a path. Is it me, or does it feel like I'm in Skyrim right now? This feels like Elder Scrolls 6 right now. One particular colony ship housed several hundred of these souls. They were each alone and isolated. Individual tiny flames that could be snuffed out at a moment's notice. Chinang encountered the great serpent and was given the gift of knowledge. He shared his knowledge with those around him and lit the way for them. Followed his guidance and his light, and they cast aside the burdens of their former lives. And thus, House Varun was born. Now you too have the chance to cast aside your burdens, to relieve yourself of anything that holds you back. Well, I burned down all the, you know, all of that. Hey. Yo, if... If Elder Scrolls 6 is going to look like this, this is going to look absolutely amazing. The people's hopes and fears and dreams were entrusted to the Great Serpent. They made the leap of faith that brought House Varun to greatness. You may now follow in their footsteps 
and take that same leap. Embrace the Great Serpent, and he will embrace you. Faith. Just want to look around for a minute. Oh, somebody's dead. And the only thing in that chest is the still water. The people of House Faroon settled this world, at first, in these very caves. Shinan Faroon himself slept among them in these shelters. It was here that he spread the word of the serpent. It was here that the people of House Faroon first understood the truth of their place in the universe. This looks so incredible. Holy fuck. They got a weapon bench? Holy shit. Seems like this is your typical closet. It just feels so eerie. Like, you feel like somebody's supposed to be down here and there's nobody. I left in a whole bunch of credits. No pass towards the end. Oh, and it was here that the people of House Verun first understood the truth of the shrouding. The Great Serpent's return. He will encircle the universe he created, and all those who do not follow will be cast into shadow. And the people weighed this knowledge against their former lives, and saw how they had been blessed despite the difficult new life that awaited them. You too would do well to feel that solace amidst the pain.
down. It's starting to make me question that is this just like a it seems like it's almost like a tour guide but this is like how you become house photo but then you got all of this stuff in here I'm curious and there's not even a soul in sight That's crazy. This is crazy and it feels weird. Not even a soulless sight and I'm able to steal shit. You shouldn't even waste on that. There's nothing up here. Until that day comes. We are the voice and the hands of the Great Serpent. Our every act a sacrifice to hasten his return. 
Make now a sacrifice to prove your devotion. And remember, whether in life or in death, all must serve. They definitely made this more interact, uh, more interactive than the uh, than the UC Vanguard when they do their little tour. Okay. Let us begin the fight, Rich. While none since Jinan and Verlin have stood before the great servant, we can all feel his presence. To solidify his bond, you are presented to the simple choice. Before you on this day are several items. They represent different aspects of House Baru's connection to the great servant. Pick the, the two that call to you. Place them on the altars. Offerings to the great serpent that he may fill you with his spirit and make you promise. Those are my two choices. Hey, I'm back. And so you arise, one of the promised of House Varun. Did you feel the great serpent working within you? Do you feel born anew? Through strength and perseverance, I had to lie to that one. will triumph over all that stands in its way. I grant you the title of Vindicator. All will know you. All will trust you. Above us, in the Grand Ship Morning, jewel of the Varun fleet, the High Council awaits your arrival. Serve them. Serve the Great Serpent. All must serve. Okay. Well, I appreciate the tour guide. Hello. Very good.
Alright, well, we can finally get the hell up out of here. I have to lie on that part. There's no way I'm gonna believe in that. Because we already know how House for Rune is that fucking crazy. Hmm, what is this? Oh, wow. Nice. Like this. Very nice. Say that's our end of our little door. Come on, let's go. Damn, we ended up here. Okay. So. I'm here. How may I assist you? Welcome, Vindicator. You stand before what remains of the High Council, advisors to Anasko Varun. We are all that is left after the disaster that has befallen our people. I represent House Dulkef. Jamal is from House Kadik. We are joined by Lovek of House Vital. We are all of us hopeful that your arrival in Dazra and your clear connection to Anasko Varun, for the first time in weeks, represent some semblance of hope. I understand. Until you were one of us, we could not trust you. By all means, Malabor. I can't wait to see how you spend this. Please, can we just for a moment... Can we just for a moment what? Discuss whether or not to allow the first convert to House Varun since before any of us were born? A bit late on that, it seems. You were not there. You did not see Anasco. It felt different. We have already wasted so much time... You're correct. I was not there. Because you elected to travel to the spaceport on your own, and then decided this on your own. Do not waste time with more bickering. Anasco, and by extension House Varun, suffers with every passing moment. Of course, Lovek. My apologies. Please, Malabor. Do go on. Anasco Varun, like his father before him, has relied on the teachings of Jinan to guide us. Anasko wondered if perhaps it was time to seek guidance directly from the Great Serpent, and so sought a means of reaching out. Perhaps he found the teachings inadequate. Careful, Kadik. You tread on dangerous ground. I mean nothing by it. We simply were never consulted on the matter and do not know the full motive. The point is that a series of experiments have taken place over the years, utilizing grav drive technology to... Hopefully make direct contact with the Great Serpent, similar to Jinan Varun's initial meeting. And then something went wrong. We do not know what happened. We were not inside the Scaled Citadel at the time. Had we been, we wouldn't be standing here now. We'd be like the rest of them. A great tide of energy emanated from the Scaled Citadel and swept across Dasra. Much was destroyed in its wake. Those caught in the blast have been left in a state of confusion, trapped halfway between our universe and the Vortex. Citadel itself remains in such a state. Right there and... yet beyond our reach. 
We can only assume that the experiment is still running, somehow preventing us from entering the Citadel. We cannot get in, so we cannot stop it. We were beginning to lose hope before you arrived. Forgive me, I am no scientist, but as it has been explained to me, what we call the vortex is the, uh, the space between universes. It has only been a few weeks. There had been efforts to put together some kind of response, some plan. But uh, they had fallen apart. Your arrival and your interaction with Anasco shows that he can still be saved. A plan had been devised to access the Citadel, but the work stalled. Clearly, it is time to move forward with it. The current head of our science team, Ekris, should be in Jinan Plaza down below us, towards the Citadel. Tell him about your experience with Anasco, and that work on the morning device must proceed. Know the scientists out at Hamadi Station? The old married couple? Uh, Azad and Shireen, if I remember right. I've met them a few times. They seemed a little eccentric, but were otherwise quite nice. That's them, yes. They're apparently looking for some help with their research. They made some kind of discovery that has them troubled. Good luck finding help at a time like this. Indeed. Yet the serpent provides for the faithful. So, who knows? Nothing is truly impossible. I have not seen my sister in days. Great serpent. I pray nothing has happened to her. Uh, what do you want? Do you truly have to shame on me? No shame at all. What you have done goes beyond disgraceful. It is morbid, disgusting. You should be hanging your head in shame. But instead, here you are, acting like a common fool. Borhal, calm down. Do not do this here. How shameful of you to have these outbursts. Oh my, what would poor mother and father think? You will speak not of mother and father, you sloughing bastard! No shame. No shame at all. What a waste of good life that they worked tirelessly to give you. Mother and father spat on the ground I walked on. You were their pride and joy. Oh, good, generous Borghol. Always the paragon, the keeper of our family name. I am... I am disgusted to call you brother. It would be best for all of us if by some miracle you were to drown the in one of those bottles of The great serpent will deliver us from this. You are so infatuated I know it. With. Oh, 
brother like you, is it any wonder I am driven to drink? Are you done? All right. Both of you. Will you calm down? You should be addressing the brute here. He is the one making the scene. I am causing a scene because you tried to sell Mother's Earth. With Mother still in it! I was not thinking. It was a mistake. That is precisely the sloughing problem, I mean. You are never thinking. You are too much of a drunken fool to think. Apparently you are not even above selling the remains of dear mother to fund your habit. It was a mistake. And you are going to condemn me for the rest of my life over a mistake? Perhaps I should. Do you truly have no shame, Amir? Mm -hmm. No shame yes. at all. What you have done is right. beyond disgraceful. It is morbid, disgusting. You should be hanging your head in shame. Right. But instead, here you are, acting Come on. like a common fool. More hard. We will all be lucky to see the end of the year. Well, look who it is. You have made quite a stir, and given the state of things, that is a singular accomplishment. To what do I owe the honor, Vindicator? Well, my... Honor to say that. Did he now? Hmm. How magnanimous. But approval is approval, and I will gladly take it. I will spare you much of the technical detail, as I confess that pieces of it I barely understand myself. One cannot help but notice the energy field around the scaled citadel. Until we can get through it, we cannot shut down the experiment inside, and it has proved quite impossible. Get through. We had the beginnings of a plan to build a makeshift contraption to redirect grav drive energy to see if we could penetrate the barrier, but the project came to a halt. Politics got in the way. This oh, seems like typical. the one time to set politics aside. Every one of the houses needs to contribute, and every one realized they could potentially use it for leverage. What should have been a cooperative effort turned contentious. Easy decisions became negotiations. More like trivial so, matters. Construction never began. We have sat here, staring at this disaster as supplies pile up for well over a week now. Serpent help us, it is infuriating. I don't disagree, but allow me to impart some advice. Most would consider that disloyal, possibly even heresy. Well, Keep that it is... talk to yourself. Well, it's annoying. I believe I've Shit. done enough complaining for now. Time to get to work. If you're here, the council has likely sent word to the houses that it's time to stop the infighting. <laughs> I doubt it will be enough. I need to oversee construction here, make sure things are built to specifications. If you could follow up with the houses, that may speed up the process. I appreciate that someone around here is eager to get to work. House Fetal owes us access codes for the city power grid. It's the only way to guarantee enough power to activate the device. House Kadik was supposed to provide a young scientist named Sahima to help me. She had at least some experience with the original Citadel experiment. No idea why they refused to send her. And Hasmek, the new elder of House Dulkef, he has been distant, guarded. He claims to have vital information about an important component of the experiment, but has withheld it until now. 
Help me get what we need, and we will see what we can do for the speaker. And for House Varun. And I may have something that can help you in whatever trials the Serpent puts before you as we navigate this. We have been nearly overwhelmed with all that has happened over the last few weeks, but I have still spent some time doing my own research when I can. These phantoms, the Vortex. Fascinating subject, really. Yeah, if only there were some less disastrous way we could have discovered all this. Well, then you are in luck. We have encountered several interesting phenomena. First, while the phantoms shift to a fully human form when killed, they often retain small shards that appear to be an almost crystallized version of Vortex energy. Second, we have learned that killing the phantoms sometimes causes an even greater disturbance. Horrors, as they have been colloquially termed, can appear from somewhere. We are unsure of their origin, but it is not within our universe. These horrors and their spawn are infested with cysts, a seemingly organic manifestation of Vortex energy. We have managed to collect enough to run experiments and have devised a method of combining them into an explosive mixture with varying properties. While they have no use in the development of the morning device, if you find yourself out in the field, I believe they could have more practical applications. Oh, very interesting. Definitely like could take anything to give me an edge. An industrial workstation should suffice if you have the materials. And depending on how you combine said materials, you may find the results to be somewhat variable. I hope. You can use that to your advantage. Yes, indeed. Just look around. I'm sure you have at least some idea of how much we have physically lost. A huge portion of the city is just... gone. And those left behind are struggling. Supplies are limited. There is so much work to be done, and we are all just so tired. I hope that eventually we can return things to the way they were, but we must be realistic. That will take time, and I suspect a great deal of it. Yes, depending on how much trouble you're getting into. We have been nearly overwhelmed with all that has happened over the last few weeks, but I have still spent some time doing my own research, when I can. These phantoms, the vortex. Fascinating subject, really. Yeah, if only there were some less disastrous way we could have discovered all this. I know, I know. I have lost friends and colleagues myself. We have encountered several interesting. Second, we have learned that... These horrors we have managed, while well, they have no use in... The process is... and... Alright, thank you for your help. Looks like we're gonna have a lot of shit to deal with. It seems like this is not going to be easy. God damn. Yeah, that's no joke. That looks crazy. Looks like, yeah, our work is cut out for us in this place. The 
let's look on our map. Definitely a place where you're not going to get no damn terrain. Something interesting is over in this way. Seems like there's an entrance. I'll go this way, maybe underneath here. What do we got? This over here, too. Clinic, me house. At least there's a way we could drive out this way. First, I'm gonna need myself to get healed up. Good exchange. And we should take ourselves to the clinic. Yeah, they're definitely in a dire situation. For sure. Must rebuild Dazra to its former glory. Except we can't build without construction materials and resources. And uh, what about this talk of missing supplies? I would think the conversation starts there. Mm -hmm. I apologize, but with the cataclysm, the investigation has been slow going. How convenient. You're putting the groat before the horns! The issue is not the supplies, it's the workforce! This may sound radical, but if we could reunite with some of the exile from House Malin... Careful, Envoy. It means nothing if those who lend a hand are holding a knife. Not to mention, they're completely slothing mad. What? Too soon? It's only been about 50 years. For now, let me see what I can find out regarding the missing supplies. It's possible they were lost in the tragedy, along with everything else, but I don't know for sure. Once that is sorted, we can revisit this debate. Of course. Uh, yep, seems like there's definitely some problems. House of Hugh. Where's a clinic? Uh, I am hungry. And guess what she tells me? She tells me there is somebody else. Never loved me to begin with. Sloth. Ten wasted years. Laying next to a body that could not care less about me. Were our sins really so great that we deserved this? And to that, you know what I say? I say good riddance to her. And when you are older, you will get your tattoos like me. 
They are so pretty. I cannot wait. I want tattoos just like yours. <laughs> when you are older, you can get them. I think they will suit you better than me. Does it hurt when you get them? It is uncomfortable, but it is not as bad as you think. And you are stronger than I am, so it should not bother you at all. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, you can really feel the attention around us. Uh, hello? Hello, hello. Welcome to the Alteration Clinic, where you can change your look to change your life. Oh, shit. Um... Be seeing you. This is not what I want. I wanted a clinic. South Gate. How halls of healing. They really ain't giving me no damn choice. Old vacant house. Goods exchange. So the only way is to go into the House of Healing. Oh, we got no other choice. No! Not again! Great Serpent! Why can I not leave this place? More than a few steps, and I'm lost in darkness. Please, release me from this. Have me going on the top floor. Please help me. I am. I am terrified. Somebody's a doctor. Vindicator. Vindicator. We are stretched razor thin as a serpent's grace. Are you a new volunteer? I was told you'd be coming yesterday, or was it today? By Jinan. What day even is it? found that they were not in immediate need of treatment. Other patients are in... But you are my... Vo my name is Vasilis. Or I was. Until the cataclysm took out much of the city and half of the people with it. Now I'm part healer, caretaker, warrior. The list goes on and on. More than you do, but that is exactly what I'm saying. Your children will be fine if the Great Serpent wills it. Yes. And serve at a capacity beyond that which we are capable of. You don't need Jinan's sight to see things are bad. No, no. Bad is the wrong word. What happened here was tectonic. And while the wounded are being tended to, I'm most concerned with those in the city who haven't sought help. What we need is for people to check in on the elderly and the infirm. <laughs> Understood. But I hope you reconsider. Need help? You and everyone else. Oh. It's you. Let me make one thing very clear. You will receive no preferential treatment. No free treatments, no free supplies. We barely have enough as it is. 
Good. <clears throat> Please understand, I have not been myself lately. You found me at the bad moment. The stress of everything is becoming overwhelming, but that is no excuse to act like I just did. I apologize. And I appreciate that. Now, may I help you with something? Let me examine you. Honestly, I'm surprised you are still alive. Let us take a closer look. There. You should be fe- Thank you. If we are done, please move along. Yes. Alright. So at least I know where the doctor is. Oh, this is bad. Excuse me, Vindicator. Can I have a word? Thank you for stopping to talk to me. My name is Lijana Dulkev. Normally, I would ask how I can help you, but under the circumstances, I am the one who needs help. I oversee the delivery of goods to those living outside the city. Unfortunately, I lost one of my couriers to the recent catastrophe. I have sought a replacement, but extra hands are in desperately short supply. I appreciate your sympathy. I wouldn't normally seek help from someone I don't know. However, I am not above admitting my situation. The truth is, this is about more than just a business transaction. It is very important to me that someone makes these deliveries as soon as possible. Do you think I don't know that? I was there the day it happened. The last thing I need is to be patronized. No. I shouldn't say that. I am sorry. I let my temper get the better of me. Yeah. If I fail, the reputation of House Dulkev will be tarnished. Time is wasting, so I will get to the point. I would like you to be my new courier. Our deliveries are paid upon arrival. You can keep the payments for yourself. The Ministry of Commerce has a sterling reputation, and it is my duty to uphold it, no matter the cost. I think that we should help her. Those supplies might be important, perhaps even vital. They are indeed, and our customers have been waiting far too long to receive them. Please tell me that you will accept. Don't force me to beg on my knees where all can see. Yeah. Man, Andreja is so damn beautiful, you got me doing it. Sure, oh, I'll take the job. You have lifted the great weight from my shoulders. I thank you. Here are the packages. One is for Alikja Dalka, who you can find at a nearby growth farm. Another is for Firan Nostal, who is working on some repairs at Hamadi Station. The last is for Lazim Balian, who can be found at the shrine to the north of the city. May the Great Serpent grant you swift and safe travels. All right, so we stuck with packages. Lost his wife and home in the catastrophe. How can anyone be the same after that? Man, it's just a disaster all around. All right, first I need to. S need to heal myself well, better yet get myself a little bit together on the ship plus anyway if we have to deliver these then we can actually take the damn thing let's check the map first these are the houses Delivering package. So it seems like these packages are outside of our prefecture. There's one over here too, this farm thing. And 
there's one all the way out here. And there's probably one all the way over here. And since we're delivering those packages, I might can just talk to this one. So we might just deliver this one first. And then we have to make our way over here. I think that's the plan. Alright. First, let's go on the ship for a minute. And get a little bit of a breather for a minute. One big disaster. Ah, spaceport. Here it is. Need something for your ship? Well, that is some ship you have there. It has been too long since I've tinkered with a ship from the settled systems. Well, I uh, <laughs> had a privileged upbringing that allowed me to hone my skills on all sorts of different ships. So, if you need anything for your ship, just let me know. About that. My father was a technician far outside of Dasra. Growing up, I would help him repair or strip all of the ships that were being delivered to him. Delivered by zealots. The ships were incredible. Deimos, Stroud Eklund, even Hope Tech. It was so exciting to work on them, but now I just feel dirty. Knowing where those ships came from, what had to be done to acquire them. When I grew older, I came to my senses, grew a conscience, and abandoned my father. I think the great serpent that I managed to avoid that life. Yeah. Thank you. It is moments like these that I know I made the right choice. Wow. Oh, wow. Ready to go? I don't need anything. I just need to get into the ship. Alright, we got disaster. We're in disaster mode. At least everybody on the ship is safe, thank god. As the captain of the ship, everybody is safe and everybody's good and clear. 
So we definitely gonna have to go through the back side over here. Gonna have to deliver some packages. Alright. Let's put away some stuff. Whatever we have. Probably gonna keep that. Holy shit, we got two? Damn, we got this one right here and this one. We'll put that away. Star Sharp, we'll put that away. Put the Bowie knife away because we want this one to be our little thing. Emergency kit. So we got packages we gotta deliver. Nice! like this. Very, very nice. like these little, little gadgets and goodies. Shotguns. I feel like we're good. Probably gonna carry this one. Alright. So, right here, we're going to stop it right here. We're gonna end it. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna do another stream of this. And we will continue where we left off playing. And all that good stuff. But other than that, it's pretty good. I ain't gonna complain about it. I'm actually having a blast. Now, again, I don't know what the difficulty is outside. I mean, we have killed pretty much some good monsters here and there. We didn't die yet, thank God. But, you know, who knows? That might change. So, uh, we're definitely going to have to be on our toes. That's for damn sure. I mean, we don't know what's going to happen. But, so far, eh, it's pretty good. I actually like this. So let's save it and go to the quit sign. So yeah, so far um, the DLC seems to be pretty good. I don't really see anything that's like, oh, it's boring or it's this. Everything seems to be really good. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. All of the characters are interesting. I'm overhearing conversations and stuff like that. And so far, it's actually, it really is enjoyable. I don't 
see any type of like it's it's slow or is this and it seems like the world and the map seems like there's really a lot of dense stuff to do and going doing some stuff and questing and stuff so yeah and i'm role playing in the game i'm playing in the perspective of like again i'm an outsider looking in and what do you know you know we landed in the the Varun, you know, first time, you know, right? And he, they even saying, like, oh, he's an outsider, you know, blah, blah, blah. And the reason why I got chosen in, because I already can hear what this person was speaking and saying. So they accepted me really quickly. But even so, you know, just putting like this and what I suspect, you know, it's not just because they just accept me so quickly. It's just the amount of like desperation was going on inside from the past couple of weeks they have to do something because if they don't do anything about it it's just going to end up getting worse and worse and worse so it's pretty much like hey i much rather take anybody in here than nothing it's crazy it's like oh shit shit is real shit is real like no joke so yeah, other than that, you know, it's been it's pretty damn good. This is a pretty good DLC so far. So uh, we'll see tomorrow, next time around. So again, hopefully you guys do enjoy the video. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe to my channel. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next playthrough. See ya.